Okay, I'm back again because <laughs> um, the, the previous pour that really blew my mind. Uh, I know I I like my pours a lot, but that one really did it for me. So, um, like I said, I was gonna do the little one because then maybe more blue would uh, stay uh, afloat. So <laughs> I couldn't get it out of my head. I got to do it right now, and I got a lot of paint, so who cares, right? So I cleaned off the plastic. A lot of people ask me about this uh, and what I throw away. And I, because I have a lot of new subscribers, I'd like to explain. Um, I am very environmental friendly. Um, you know, I get all my stuff, the plastics, and they all go in different things and they get picked up by different companies. Um, I have the solar panels on my roof and, you know, there's just so much that I really do for um, for the environment. When I'm on my vacation, one day I spend and pick up all the rubbish from the beach, especially the um, the fish nets and the fishing lines. And there's a lot of them on uh, Armland, so I do that. But um, because the whole acrylic pouring thing has a lot of rubbish, what I uh, do is everything that I, th I don't th throw this stuff through the drain. Um, the only thing I'll clean are these cloths that I use. I'll clean that, but that is like, there are no chunks in it that go in the water. And our water gets, um, the wastewater gets um, sort of recycled anyway. So, okay, they take all the chemicals out and all the stuff and then you get that water back. Um, but we have really good water in Holland, so that's no problem whatsoever. But all this plastic stuff, I, I put it together and um, they take it. And what they do with it is they burn it in a special facility and um, they are government, the government looks after all the stuff, you know, the, the, how they burn it. So that's okay. Then um, w when they burn it, there's stuff left over. And what they make with that is asphalt for the, for the roads. So what I just want to, you know, make clear is that I just don't toss this rubbish anywhere. You know, I pay for them to pick it up and to incinerate it and what's left over, they make asphalt. So that's sort of uh, how I, you know, get rid of all my stuff because there's a lot of plastic involved. That's right. A lot of cups, a lot of plastic on the table. So that's uh, how I uh, roll. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do that. Let's do that thing. So where did I start with? I'm not sure. Oh. That might be a problem because I don't have a lot of that white. And that really did really pop up really nice. So we're going to put the last of that eggshell color in, which is Naples yellow and a lot of titanium white. So it is absolutely opaque. I do have a little bit darker, as you can see here. That is a tiny bit darker, but I think we'll just add that. Then, of course, the orange. Because that looks so good on the blue. And this is the burnt sienna. And if you buy it, be careful. There are a couple of sorts of sienna, and this one is the transparent one. And this is the cerulean blue hue. And this is all, except the metallic, this is all Windsor and Newton. Drip a little of this in the middle. So my metallics are reefs. And as you can see, like I, I told you yesterday, when you stir it and you... Let's see if I can get some light in there. Already you see the silicone forming the cells. So the silicone pops up pretty fast. And that's probably why a lot of people are having uh, trouble with the cells because the thinner your paint is, the faster your silicone will go to the top. Now, if you're going to be doing a flip cup, there's not much, you know, going on there because if all the silicone is on the top and you flip your cup, it'll be on the bottom again. So it'll have to rise through all the paint. So that's okay. But if you're pouring like this, you will have a lot of the silicone on top. 
and as soon as the silicone hits the surface, if you torch it, it doesn't do much because it, it isn't being pulled through all the layers of paint, if you get my drift. So that might be why some people have a problem with it. A little bit more of this, I think, and then of course a little bit more of the orange. I'm really layering it up a little. And I don't think, oh yeah, I do have blue, but we're going to add a little bit more blue. And a little bit more of the sienna. We're going to drop that straight through the middle. There you go. I think we have enough. Now, oh, I just need to clean my hands a little bit. Okay. I think I'll just do it the easy way. There it is. Not totally in the middle though. And then of course the blue. Maybe a little more. There it is. And oops, yep. Wow, that is really, I don't know what that is, but that is really appealing. We're gonna torch again. There it is. There is less paint now in the middle, but still it looks like a lot. Let me get a brush. I think that'll be easier. The brush I used yesterday for the uh, blue, I forgot to clean it. And this morning I found it and all hardened up again, but I fixed it. It's this brush. So, oops, don't put your brush in there. So that's okay. Eh, I think it, it went better with that s squishy thing. <clears throat> and of course, this might crack because there's a lot of paint on the canvas. But we will see what happens with it. Okay, there's a little contamination in there. I'm trying to be really, really careful as not to disturb the pattern there. And I have my hair in the microphone, as you might hear. Okay. Well, it's smoothing out pretty well, so that's good. A little bit here, a little bit up here. Yeah, I think this is um, this is a nice way to to do the oil. Oh, another thing, guys, I'm out of pouring medium in my shop, but also in my studio. So I just used the last the last pouring medium in this, the blue, the extra blue I made. But I'm gonna be in deep doo doo if Vallejo doesn't, you know, send me my order pretty soon. Of course, I can always do something with um, uh, glue, PVAC glue. That's okay. And sometimes it's good to be out of something, then it'll make you experiment with other stuff. I'm being really careful, guys. I know it, it seems you can just fast forward, but 
because of the pour going over the side, you have to be careful where you put your blue. You don't want to disrupt the flow of the painting because it's nice to see things flow over the sides. That really uh, does it for me. Okay, it's done. A little bit more blue. I think we should, we could even uh, do less paint because this is almost as much as in the previous one. I don't know how that works because it was a tiny little cup of color. But, um, so I was thinking, uh, it depends how, how they dry, but I was thinking I'm gonna give these two that I just did, so this one and the previous video, I'm gonna do this for the giveaway because they are really pretty and I'm sure some people would really love to have them. Getting rid of a few little air bubbles. There we go. Nice and smooth. Okay, guys. Thanks. I'm going to upload and see you in a bit. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Hoffe jullie allemaal. Doei doei.